What's up guys, Buster C4 here. Welcome to another video. Today we're down here at the falls. We've, me and my dad have been trying to find a place to fish for forever. We're tr gonna try some new lakes today. The first one, which we fished before, was off limits for some reason. Fishing was prohibited. I think it's because they have like this youth tournament coming up. And last year I did it and I caught like two fish. So I think they're trying to preserve the fishing there. So that's understandable. Second lake we went to, we found out it got drained two years ago. And the third one was owned by a private estate. So finally we find a little creek to fish in. I got a bite by a nice smalling on a, my, some new jerk bait that I picked up yesterday. They are Rapala. Um, Shadow Wrap Shad, size 9 and Tropical Ice. Got a bite on that and the fish comes off. So I'll play that clip right now. Alright guys, down here to little... Oh! Alright guys, so now that you've seen my epic fail of the day, I'm gonna pick up that same jerk bait and see if we're, I can catch a, a nice smallie at the falls today. And uh, yeah guys, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I got a smallie. Feels really nice on that little uh, jerk bait. Shadow wrap, shad, snagged him. That's why it feels nice. Right away, guys, on the shadow wrap, shad. Ooh, first smolly of the day, right away. Got barbless hooks, guys, so it just comes out really easily. It's a nice smolly, guys, maybe about a pound. Just let him go. He slammed that jerk bait, guys. And by the way guys, also another thing that went wrong, we uh, we just had a cold front come in. Uh, yesterday it was in the mid 70s, today uh, it's in the low 50s. Alright guys, got another one somewhat soon after that last one. Again on that little uh, shadow wrap jerkbait. Beautiful fish. Let's get him in. Nice guys, maybe even a little bit bigger than that last one. Oh, oh. Broke me off guys, broke me off. <sighs> nice bass guys, on that shadow wrap jerk bait. There's the jerk bait guys, that he snapped my line. And I have to retile a little bit better. There's the fish guys. So I'll release them. I'll get back to you guys, hopefully with some more beautiful smallies. Alright guys, got another one on the jerk bay. Finally got one in. Alright, there we go guys. So those hooks just pop right out. Well, you can see where the barbell hooks come in handy guys. That would have been a lot more painful to get out without them. A little bit smaller one, guys, but uh, not bad. Still has plenty of fight left in him. It's good, guys. I'm going to get back to you, hopefully, with some more. All right, guys, so I'm fishing a... Oh, that's so cool, guys. I switch up. I fish a... Uh, fishing a little uh, Seville Action First Swingtail Minnow. If you guys have seen my, uh, my May MTV Slam video that's up, You'll recognize that bait. Beautiful rock bass took it. Guys, I'm gonna get a picture of this because I rock bass here guys are just so rare. Um, and I'm gonna get back to you with the release. Guys, got another smallie on the uh, the jerk bait. He uh, must have just swiped at it, guys. Bar barbell hooks, guys, make it a lot easier to get those hooks out. Another one. Says, I'm just checking my line uh, after these fish for uh, for preys. And, uh, yeah. Another one, guys. So I'll get back to you, hopefully, with some more. Alright, guys, got another one on the spot on the little uh, jerk bait. Get him in before he throws the hook. Another one. Get over this big rock, guys. 
hands, so I can uh, grab them. That's funny. Oh, it pops right off. It's funny, guys. I uh, I saw uh, I was passing up that area over there, and uh, I saw one flash at it a couple of times, swipe at it, and miss. I threw back in there, guys, and uh, came up and grabbed it. So I'll get back to you. Alright guys, got a little smallie on the uh, this little Seville thing. The swing tail minnow thing, whatever you want to call it. Crushed it. Mm. Little guy. But uh, still a lot of fun. There he goes guys. I'll uh, get back to you, hopefully with some more. Alright guys, got a little small land, the live target smelt. Ultra light full, small jerk bait. It's a lot of fun guys for these little bass. Little one. Alright guys, I'm gonna get back to you. Alright guys, we're here at the pond. I'm having kind of a fishing marathon today, uh, because I wanted to. Don't get to do that a whole lot. Usually when I come out, it's only for, you know, a couple hours at most. Um, see so yeah, down here at the old favorite spot. Got, uh, just two rods to start with. Uh, I have two more in the car. Starting off again with that, uh, sh uh little tropical ice shadow wrap maybe a little bit big for this uh this area uh this pond this lake creek whatever you want to call it but whatever guys i'm gonna try it so yeah i'll get back to you all right guys got another one on this uh slip bobber setup that last fish guys just came off pretty easily um so i just tossed him back um, he didn't swallow the hook that deep. So I added a little bit more weight to this, guys. Um, there we go. So we'll be able to tell if a fish has taken that. So yeah, guys, I'll lock it back to you. Alright, guys, got another take. Got him this time. Bluegill. Awesome guys. Just had to wait a little bit longer for him to take it. I think I know where he's hooked. He ate it pretty good. Not hooked that bad guys. There we go. Off he goes guys. Also I forgot, what I forgot to do guys is just crush the barb on this hook. does guys if they swallow the hook it's just a lot easier to get it out. And I forgot to tell you what brand of bobber stop I'm using guys. This is a rod and bobs slip bobber and a, a rod and bobs bob stopper bobber stopper. Is that a hit? I'm not sure. You can see my float there guys. Just twitching every once in a while. Let's get their attention. There's one. Let's see there he is. Little one. Wow, it's like bait sized, guys. Look at that. It's gotta be like three inches, maybe. I think that's a three o'clock bell, guys. I'm not sure. Hopefully, come out. There we go. So yeah guys, um, I won't film all of them, just if I get like a bass or whatever, crappy I'll film that, of course, um, maybe even if I get, I'll, I'll film some of the bluegills. So yeah guys, I'll uh, get back to you. Alright guys, so I switch up to a little uh, lumpless crankbait, first cast, catch a bass, like this one. So, nothing too big guys, but uh. 
fourth species of the day. Got smallmouth bass, rock bass, bluegill, and now largemouth bass. But literally, guys, I was fishing that uh, that little jerk bait. So I switch up to this uh, three eight sounds rattler rapala that I got today, just brand new, first cast with it, and I catch that bass. That's kind of ridiculous, guys. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite, one of my favorite lures, at least for this uh, this pond. Uh, so I, I haven't had them in a while. I, they're kind of expensive, they're like ten bucks each. Not a bad cast, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're like ten bucks each, so a little bit expensive. Um, I know my jerk baits are very expensive as well, but I fish jerk baits a lot, guys. I only really fish these crank baits here. But anyway, guys, that's a good fish uh, right off the bat. See you guys. I'll uh, get back to you. All right, guys. So I'm fishing a little swim bait on a jig head. Catch a tiny. Tiny little bass on it. That's something that I caught on it. How did that happen? I don't know. Well, guys, uh, here's the, the jig. Old title shot shorty jig head from, uh, I'm not sure the brand, Fintech maybe? With a uh, three inch. Uh, Bruiser bait, Super Swimmer Junior, and a uh, watermelon shad. Perfect imitator of the baby bass, and uh, that's what hits it, guys. Well, I'm gonna get back in there. All right, guys. So I gotta go. Sadly, um, had a pretty good, pretty great day. Um, cut a lot, all those smallmouth. I might actually edit some of them out. Uh, some of the really small ones out. Um, just to save time and make it take, like, not three hours to upload. So, but, you know, I got a pretty great day out, guys. Caught that one really nice smallie and, uh, the rock bass. Caught a couple of largemouth guys. I did have another bite on the, on Luckless Bait, but, uh, it came off, sadly. Caught a couple of bluegill. So, four species today, guys. Uh, had a pretty great day. Um, it wasn't as the best day that it could have been, uh, could have caught a lot more, uh, large mouth, but it is what it is, guys, you know, you got cold front conditions, probably not going to catch as many fish. So guys, thank you so much for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.